Hello, this is Johnny Henson, Professor Cole. Today, I'm going to take you through how to practice uh, jump shots, you know. Uh, a lot of people uh, do jump shots, but they never really get that comfortable with it. What I do to protect my uh, felt is I just take an old piece of felt from when I had my table recovered a long time ago, and I just lay this down. I try to lay it down a little bit of an angle. So I've got this one, and then i got another little piece over the top of that, and then I even have a little square that I put my cue ball on. So I'm, I'm technically, there's three layers of felt over my regular felt, okay? Now what I try to do is try to have my object ball about, the, about from my middle finger to my thumb, about that distance. You can jump with a ball closer than that, but what we're really wanting to do is work on our our rhythm and our technique, okay? So, with this being said, what I'm gonna do is I want you to, to try to shoot to where you can shoot five, six, seven, 20, or even 30 jumps in a row without a miss. And then that way, then start working on, on your accuracy, you know? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by having a, a loose grip with this. I usually hold my, uh, my jump cue with two fingers. Uh, and, and I usually just use an open bridge, even though you can use a closed bridge. And what I want to do, uh, you, you to picture is that once you're at about a 45 degree angle, you just really want to go straight back, straight down. I know a lot of people, they try to do a little bit of warm up. I think that actually takes away from the shot. I think you should get everything set up, draw your cue stick straight back and go for it. Because I have found with teaching people over the years, that the more time you waste on it, the more tension you build in your body, and it usually makes for a worse shot, okay? So I'm just gonna do a few of these, and then I'm gonna set up some actual shots for us, okay? So what you're gonna do is aim, you're gonna get up, and what I usually do is I usually pull my stick in to my chest, and I use my chest as a guide for the cue stick. I believe it really helps my accuracy, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim straight back, straight forward. Okay, okay. Let's try it again. And you, you know, even though I don't think chalking is as crucial on some of these, but we'll chalk every time because some some uh, jump cues people don't hardly use chalk. Okay, so aim 45 degrees, straight back, straight forward. Okay, okay. Uh, we got we're all set up. Uh, I've got my, my two felts underneath the, 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 this felt, another felt, and then um, uh, I do even have an extra, this felt here underneath where the cue ball is. So I actually have three felts over the regular felt, so I'm not going to hurt the table. Okay, now when, we're, when you're aiming, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting your aim, but then you're going to pick out a, a spot on the object ball that you're jumping over and then your focus is gonna be on that point. So you're never gonna be looking at the target when you're doing this. You're gonna be focusing on, on kidding the cue ball and jumping, so you're not gonna be looking at your, at your target ball up the table, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first aim the shot. Keep in mind, I'm still holding it with, with either two or three fingers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, when I'm aiming this shot, what I'm going to end up doing is focusing on the, the spot on the object ball. So when I'm aiming this, I'm going to aim, uh, I'm going to aim the ball, but I'm going to be aiming at a spot on the object ball. So I'm never really going to be looking up, okay?